I'm sure we wish we could all hand sand that fast. Welcome to another Triple T Thursday, folks. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, we're going to go over some hand sanding tips. Let's take a look. One of the most important aspects of hand sanding is using a hard backer. Um, I use this piece of mild steel. Um, it's got relatively sharp edges. Um, not too sharp, but I will just wrap the sandpaper around it and sand like that. And that will keep you from um, uh, softening out all your edges. You'll keep nice, nice crisp edges on your knife. Another tip when using these, um, you'll tend to use them this way, but don't be afraid to turn it around because when you're, when you're sanding this way, you're, you tend to put more pressure on the front. So when you turn it around, you'll actually have a lot of sandpaper um, not, not as used on the other side. So you get more life out of your sandpaper when you switch it around. As far as lubricants, I like to use Windex um, just because it keeps your blade from rusting and it's not messy. Oil-based, um, like WD-40 or something, it's just really, really messy and hard on your hands. Um, so I like to use Windex. Some people use water, but I don't like the rusting on the blade. So uh, using Windex is, uh, is a good idea. As far as what abrasives I use, um, I kind of switch it up. Um, I've been using this Duragold. Uh, I, and by the way, I love the rolls. These have adhesive backers and you kind of take off the paper because I like it to stick to my block. Some people don't like that, but I do. So I always get it in rolls that are two inch wide. Uh, and these last a long time and I think they're like 20 bucks for the whole roll. I've also used this uh, Indasa Rhino Wet. I, honestly, I don't see a big difference in this. It's like two bucks more. Um, next time, I'll probably just buy the Duragold. I, I think it's just as good as the Indasa, if not the same. Um, but yeah, I like it in rolls. Uh, and I got links down in the description for uh, where to get this stuff. So something else I wanted to mention. Um, you can see that I have some, some grind lines here. So obviously, I hit the top just a little bit more than the other areas, which is fine. We'll sand it out. But something I wanted to mention... Maybe it's obvious to some, but not obvious to everybody. You're not sanding out the lines. Okay, remember, <laughs> what you're trying to do is actually bring down all of this area around it to the same level as the bottom of the scratches. If you just concentrate here, okay, without doing all of this part, then you're going to have a depression here. So, Make sure, that's why you want a, a pretty nice flat backer, because you want to sand all this area down to that level. Don't concentrate just right here. Another tip for sanding the tip is don't, don't kind of come off, because it's really easy, when I mean come off, as in like, it's easy to roll down the tip, and you'll get a little drop, and it looks really goofy. Um, what I do is I take it, I take the the board long ways and I'll do it like this so that I'll maintain a really long stroke and I'll just slowly come in and do the tip so that I don't get that drop drop off in the tip and it just looks odd so that's a good tip guys so I'm done my 220 now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go at 45s and many have probably heard this you wanna go at 45 because that'll really show up the lines on the last grit so I'll go 45s and I'll even go 45s, sometimes the opposite of what I'm doing the blade at, but I'll do 45s on the flats as well. Um, and what I'm looking for is just to get out all of those scratches and I'm doing this with a hard backer. Again, I'm only taking this blade up to 400, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 45s at 400, then I'm gonna go all the way up to 800 and do um, straight lines at 800, and then I'm gonna come back at the end with a leather backer, and I'm gonna do single strokes on, bring it back down to 400. So that's what we're gonna do, and that should give us a really nice finish. Also doing 45s into the plunge here really cleans up the plunge area right here, cleans it up really, really well. Here's a 400 grit satin finish on one of my journeyman knives. All the grind lines are going one direction, 
no J hooks. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I hope you got something out of this episode and some of these tips were useful. We'll see you on the next one.